Hello friends, today we will see how we can create a virtual machine on Azure cloud. So just log into the Azure portal. Once you are inside your Azure portal, just click on virtual machines. And now directly you cannot create a virtual machine. So firstly you need to go to uh, the home page and then you need to create the resource group, which is the basic requirement for any resource to create in Azure. So just create con create. And then you need to provide the resource group name. Suppose if we give it as test RG. And second section is very important, region. So just choose the selection which is nearest to you. I'm in India, so I need to select a region that is near to India. So let me suppose select South India as a region. Once it is done, you need to click on next. If you want to give any tag, just give any tag. If you don't, leave it as it is. Just go to next and just do a create. So now it is creating a resource group. So as we can see, the resource group has now been created. So we can click on it and we can see, yes, it is created. Now you can create your virtual machine. So just go to virtual machine, go to create Azure virtual machine. And then you can select your resource group that you have created. You can give virtual machine like test OEM you can give and you can see green tick it means we are good we are okay and in the region it is south india we are good then we can select the image so we need a ubuntu a b uh, jvm so we are good with this virtual machine configuration and this is the size so we need just two vcpu and eight gb memory it's enough just for test purpose and in the password you can select some user any user that you want to select and the password you can select uh, according to you okay so now it is accepted as we can see green tick here now ssh port 22 needs to be enabled because we need to get logged into this machine from outside and the another thing that we need to remember is that we don't need to select premium ssd because it's costly feature we are just doing testing so we can select standard ssd this will save you some cost rest all option we can remain as it is we can go to networking and you can see that uh, vnet subnet public ip everything is creating by default by itself so we can leave it as it is and we can select this uh, whenever you will delete it so it will delete all associated resource also quickly by enabling this option then we can go to next and here i think nothing needs to be taken care yeah in case of boots diagnostic we can disable it because we don't need it and we can save some of our cost and now it is done so we can go to the advanced section we don't need to place anything any script post creation of vm we don't want so we can leave it as it is we don't want to give any tag so we can leave it as it is and once it is done then it will show you what all things uh, your vm will be having once it is created so all parameters it will show you here so just wait uh, for a minute and it will show you all these things so yes if you'll go down then it will show you all the things that you are going to create so these all things are visible and if you are good then you can click on create so once you click on create then you will see that some deployment is initializing so once this deployment is getting complete your virtual machines will be ready to use so we need to wait uh, for a few minutes to get it created as we can see the deployment is in progress so just wait uh, for a few uh, seconds it may take uh, a minute or more so just uh, wait for some time and yes we can see that all these resources like ip network security group vnet and vm is getting created and uh, there are some parameters that are still in progress as we can see this refresh icon so we need to wait for few seconds once uh, this deployment is in progress turns to deployment is complete then we are good with the uh, virtual machine creation okay so we can see the deployment is complete so we can go to home and we can go to virtual machine and uh, you can see test vm is here we can go here and we can copy this public ip address then we can go to 50 and you can see that we are inside this virtual machine we can use the username that we have used and after providing password
yes we are in so uh, we are able to successfully launch our virtual machine in linux